Before we go any further, let's just stop and think about conversion rates for a moment. Now, say your website is converting at half a percent. Might be more, might be less, but let's say half a percent. If you increase that conversion rate to 1%, you've instantly doubled your profits without spending any more money on advertising or driving traffic. If I then double it again to say 2%, I've quadrupled my profits. That's not unfeasible, you know, you you can seriously expect, you know, a 2% conversion rate, you could get there. You could even get up to 4%, in which case you multiplied your profits by 8%. Yeah, if I add in, if I double my traffic as well, if I increase my traffic levels, then what have I done? You know, my my profits can go absolutely crazy. If I increase my conversion rate from half a percent to four percent and double my traffic, I've increased my profits effectively by sixteen times. So my website that was earning me one hundred dollars a month is suddenly earning me sixteen hundred dollars a month. Conversion rates are very, very important. You see, what most people do is they create a website, they throw it up there, drive a bit of traffic, go, yeah, that'll do, and move on. Now, if you're doing that, you're leaving money on the table. If you spend a little bit of time tweaking your website, you can actually turn each website into a full-time income. It really, really is. Now, the conversion rate is basically how many buyers it takes to get a sale or action, whatever it is, if you want an AdSense clicker, a CPA sale, a product sale, an autoresponder sign up, whatever it might be. It's how many people it takes to come to your website before you get a buyer, basically. It's usually measured in a percentage. So that's why we've talked about percentages. It's, you know, um, half a percent means um, one in every 200 visitors buys from you basically one percent means one in 100 buy from you so if you're getting 100 visitors a week you can expect one buyer a week if your conversion rate is one percent if you're getting 100 visitors a day you can expect one a day so you can see how this all works what you will find is what we call a plateau it's a point basically where you can't improve your conversion rate anymore you know you can you can work and get it to so high, but you can only ever get so high. You will never ever get 100%. And to be honest with internet marketing, you know, you may, you may depending on what you're doing with some CPA offers and AdSense, you may get click-through rates, conversion rates as high as you know, 20 or 30%, but you're not going to get a massive number. You know, don't aim for 100, you're not going to get there. Get it up to a point where, you know, it's doing well, and you can't improve it anymore and just leave it there that's all you need to do there's always going to be people that are coming along to kick tires and just have a look there will always be that so remember you're never ever going to get 100% conversion rate you're probably never going to get far beyond 50 and you know depending on what you're doing you know sales letter if you get 5% that's considered outstanding uh, adsense 20 to 30% that's considered pretty good so just be aware that yeah, with all this work, you're going to get to a point where you're going to have to say, right, that's enough, that's good enough, let's move on. Now, unfortunately, too many marketers ignore conversion rates. Yeah, most of us, we're in such a hurry, we want to create those sites, get them out there, get it out there, get it out there, get it out there. And, you know, we don't actually create the sites. You know, it's a real, real problem if people don't improve the conversion rates. As I showed you previously... Yeah, if I double my traffic and double my uh, conversion rate, you know, I've taken a hundred dollar a, a month site up to say four hundred dollars. You know, it's not unheard of for me to be able to take it up to even more. So, you, you know, a lot of marketers ignore conversion rates because they're in such a hurry to create sites, and they don't think about the fact that if they spend a bit of time improving the conversion rate on every single site they created, they could probably earn an awful lot of money from it. They are really leaving money on the table. You know, my site that's bringing me in a hundred dollars a month. You know, if I could bring that, I could bring that up to eight hundred dollars by spending a few weeks tweaking and playing with the conversion rate. You know, that suddenly becomes a, a, a major earner instead of you know um, pizza money for the month or something. Wherever your position is now as an internet marketer, 
if you sat down looked at your current websites and worked on improving the conversion rates you could probably significantly increase your income you really really could it isn't too difficult for you to do so I just want you to think about that that you know look at your current websites and see how can you increase your conversion rate on them are they performing as best as they could or could they do better what we've said this before and I think it's a very very important point the conversion rate can make the difference between you having a bit of a hobby online and the extra money for pizza and beer and having a full-time income if you sat down if you got you know 10 20 websites already if you sat down and spent some time concentrating on them and making them uh, convert better you could probably have a full-time income from those websites that you already have it's you know the potential is that significant so you know we've just had to talk about the conversion rates and now you understand why you know the successful marketers the big name marketers the gurus if you like track their conversion rates they know their conversion rate for every single site every offer that they um, promote and they track it religiously it's literally a part of their religion they are absolutely dogged about it and will always track it and because of that they do very very well they're the ones that will test their conversion rates test new things to try and improve their conversion rate and sooner or later you know they reach a point where they're converting very very well now if you spend some time on your conversion rates you can increase your profits you can increase your conversions and it's going to make a huge difference to your online business it really is so you know, bear this in mind you know this previous statement you know, as we're going through this program I want you to think about the fact that by paying attention to your conversion rates you could turn your online hobby into a full-time business so think about it as we go through this conversion rates are very very important and you can significantly increase your income just by paying a bit of attention to your conversion rates